As the 2024 Formula One season enters its final stretch, the future of Sergio Perez at Red Bull Racing remains shrouded in uncertainty. Perez, who has been extremely poor this season, faces the looming possibility of being replaced before the end of the year, and with just eight races remaining, the question of whether Red Bull will continue with Perez or look to promote one of their reserve drivers has become a hot topic in the F1 paddock. This uncertainty has been further fueled by Red Bull's dedicated test and reserve driver, Liam Lawson. The Kiwi driver completed a Pirelli tyre test at Monza on Tuesday, logging a 104 laps at the wheel of the RB20, just two days after the Italian Grand Prix. The timing of the increased rumours that Sergio Perez won't survive the duration of the season at Red Bull alongside Lawson's convenient Red Bull testing has only intensified speculation about a possible full-time debut for as early as this season. Helmut Marko, Red Bull's motorsport advisor, has expressed his eagerness to promote Lawson, especially after the New Zealanders' impressive stand-in performances for the then-injured Daniel Ricciardo in 2023. Marco had promised that Lawson will definitely have a seat either at Red Bull or its sister team, Visa Cash App RB, next season. However, with Max Verstappen and Yuki Tsunoda already confirmed in the Red Bull family for 2025, Red Bull currently has three drivers vying for just two seats, making Perez's position increasingly precarious. Adding to the complexity of the situation are the ongoing internal tensions between Red Bull team principal Christian Horner and Helmut Marco. Horner, who now holds greater internal power within the team due to his backing by the Uvidia family, who own 51% of Red Bull, appears to favour Ricciardo for a return to the senior team, while Marco is less enthusiastic about Ricciardo, instead preferring to promote the promising Lawson. These internal conflicts have resulted in a protracted back and forth over who will ultimately replace Perez should his struggles continue. While Horner pushes for Ricciardo and holds greater power, Marco still has some influence over driver decisions, leaving the final call on Perez's replacement hanging in the balance. For Ricciardo, the situation is equally uncertain. The Australian driver has acknowledged that his future remains unknown, but he remains confident that strong performances will keep him in the Red Bull family. I still know that performance is my best friend, Ricciardo said ahead of the Dutch Grand Prix at Zandvoort. If I do what I know I can do and am capable of, then I think it puts me in a very good position to stay somewhere in the family for next year. Ricciardo's comments about Lawson were also telling. He praised the Kiwi's abilities, stating, I do think he is worthy of a seat on the grid. If he is guaranteed a seat next year, then I think that's good because he is a deserving driver. Yet, despite his supportive words, Ricciardo knows that his own F1 future could be directly impacted by Lawson's promotion. As the 2024 season nears its conclusion, the fate of Sergio Perez's Red Bull seat remains one of the biggest talking points. Whether Perez can recapture his form, or if Red Bull will choose to bring in either Ricciardo or Lawson, is a decision that will not only shape the 2024 and eventually the 2025 grid, but could also have lasting repercussions for the balance of power within the Red Bull camp. With Marco and Horner seemingly at odds over who should replace Perez, the next few races could be decisive in determining who will ultimately secure a coveted seat at Red Bull Racing.